Johncio with Benchmark Media Systems at the AES show in San Francisco. And uh, one of the products that I'd like to show you is the MPA-1, uh, which is a two-channel microphone preamplifier with step gain. Uh, it's 2 dB steps from unity gain to 74 dB of gain. It's excellent for uh, ribbon microphones where you need a very low noise preamplifier. Uh, it has 500 kilohertz bandwidth. Uh, very fast, uh, very accurate, uh, and very low distortion. Uh, it, it's excellent for, uh, for capturing the sound of your microphone, capturing the sound of, your, uh, uh, of the instrument, uh, capturing the subtle details in the room. Um, you know, there, there are many uh, microphone preamplifiers on the market that, that are designed specifically to, to, to color the sound. Um, this is at the other end of the spectrum and is a useful uh, and necessary tool in many circumstances when you want to uh, uh, to to, uh, to capture things uh, uh, as purely and transparently as possible. Um, it has uh, polarity inversion on each channel. It has a 40 uh, 40 hertz high pass filter. Uh, it has meters and uh, and these rotary switches, which are 12 position uh, military grade switches that uh, continuously rotate uh, through multiple turns uh, to take you through a total of 38 positions. And as we turn, we, there's relays that, uh, that move us from one uh, uh, deck of resistors to the next. Uh, the advantage of doing that is, is a twofold advantage. Uh, first of all, our right and left gains are exactly matched throughout the, the entire uh, gain range. Uh, but more importantly, the noise performance is optimized at all gain settings. Usually you see an equivalent input noise uh, uh, measurement that's just specified at uh, something close to maximum gain. And uh, what this does is it, uh, it, it has lower equivalent input noise uh, over a wider range of uh, gain settings. So it, it's really um, uh, outstanding in terms of its noise performance. It also has a headphone amplifier built in, which is, uh, which is great if you're uh, using this uh, uh, in remote locations and things for two-channel recording. And it uh, gives you the ability to listen at the output of your uh, uh, of your preamp, listen at the output of your uh, 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 A to D, D to A chain. Uh, so uh, try to give you a lot of uh, uh, flexible uh, monitoring options to really uh, 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 listen to each stage of your uh, uh, of your recording. We have another product which is a uh, it's the Pre 420. Uh, the Pre 420 is a four-channel preamplifier slash mixer. It's, uh, uh, each channel has got a uh, got a pan pot uh, going into a summing bus. Uh, this again is uh, a very low noise uh, preamplifier, 500 kilohertz bandwidth, uh, a low noise, low distortion uh, mix bus uh, designed to be a very purist. Uh, uh, mixer for uh, location recording. Uh, has uh, uh, monitoring, uh, uh, has a monitor bus so that I can listen to individual microphones. I can listen to any combination of microphones. I can listen to those microphones in, in stereo or uh, in mono so I can check for mono compatibility uh, and do that in the field. It again has a 40 kilohertz, I mean a 40 hertz uh, high pass filter, and uh, 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 this this has a 20 dB uh, pad for uh, high level signals. The MPA1 uh, doesn't use a pad. Uh, that's that's actually uh, uh, we'll go right down to Unity game without uh, the use of a pad, and we're able to do that because this has uh, this has step gain, and we're able to change the resistors, uh, the resistor network as we go through.